In a historic first attempt to fly around the world in a solar-powered plane, Solar Impulse 2 is halfway there. Next up, the hardest leg. At least 121 hours of flying from Nanjing, China to Hawaii, with pretty much just miles of ocean below. As soon as you leave the coast of Japan, you have to be committed to go to Hawaii. So you have more or less four days from the next from the next destination. But it's true that if we have to ditch or to bail out, we will be a couple of thousands of miles from any island or coast where somebody can rescue us. Pilot Andre and Bertrand underwent more than just logistical training for this flight around the world. But we also have to find a way to rest, to sleep, uh, for a very short period of time because we cannot let the airplane fly by itself more than uh, 20 minutes. So we also had developed other way to uh, to cope, in fact, with the challenge of keeping our energy. Uh, Bertrand is doing uh, self-hypnosis and I'm using yoga, meditation. Even with all the training under their belts, both pilots admit at times it can be scary. Once I was flying backwards because the speed of the wind was faster than my own speed. So it's true that the air, air traffic controller was a little scared when he saw the plane at 20 uh, kilometers per hour going backward on his screen. And even scarier for their families. My, my grandfather made the first flight in the stratosphere in 1931, 16 kilometers up. My father made the deepest dive in 1960 in the Batis Cave. So my wife knew she was not getting married with somebody who would stay at home. I think it's more difficult for the person to stay on the ground than for the one who, who travels and, 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 and does this, uh, this adventure. The Solar Impulse 2 began its journey in March in Abu Dhabi. It uses more than 17,000 solar cells to power four batteries to drive the engine that keeps a plane flying. For those who think solar-powered passenger planes are next, think again. Solar Impulse 2 isn't a prototype. It's just a way to get the message out on what energy efficiency can deliver. Put these technologies in a house or a car, you would not be there to interview us because it would not be exciting. We have chosen the most exciting application of these technologies to ring the alarm bell and say, look, these technologies exist, now we have to use them every everywhere. And if Solar Impulse 2 makes it to Hawaii, the next leg will be Phoenix.